Hey friends, it's Quinn Boulay welcoming you back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do a full moon spread in my Book of Shadows. And while you watch, I'll just talk to you a little bit about what I use my Book of Shadows for and um, how I gather the information to create these full moon spreads. And so before I begin working in my Book of Shadows, I just like to take a moment and ground myself and just do a little bit of cleansing and purifying. Um, and this just helps me to really get clarity for the spread and also the tarot spread that I do that goes with this. So one of the questions I get asked all the time is, what is the Book of Shadows? And in really basic terms, it's a place to record rituals, spells, lunar cycles, tarot spreads, correspondence. It's kind of a manual of magic that is suited to your personal needs. Um, anything that really has to do with your spiritual journey and practices um, can go in this book. You can look on a million different websites about what it is. And you may come across um, some that have some rules about what should go in it and what should go shouldn't go in it. But I say your relationship with the divine is your own. So follow your inner voice. Um, and that's all that matters when it comes to choosing what should or shouldn't go in it. Um, I don't really dig dogma. So I tend not to listen if a website says, oh, you can't... Um, you can't put any pictures or doodles in your book of shadows that's considered not cool, not good, for whatever reason. But again, listening to someone else is not learning to listen to your inner voice, and that doesn't make any sense to me. So it just reminds me of back in the day when they said the only way you could communicate was with God was through a priest or a church. So I tend to subscribe not to that way of thinking and really subscribe to the way of thinking that says, I want to grow my intuition and make my connection with my source stronger and you don't do that through a third party. And the more that you listen to that, the stronger that intuitive voice is going to get and the stronger your connection with um, the divine and listening to your inner self. So again, do what feels right to you. For me, I personally use mine mostly for... Um, doing these full moon spreads and new moon spreads like you see here. I also use it for tarot spreads. Um, I will also use it for the equinoxes and as well as other little correspondence or stuff that I come up with. I love coming up with like little daily rituals to kind of help my life and, and by rituals I don't mean anything like complicated. I mean like really simple things like a ritual of clapping my hands and saying be present. So things as simple as that, just little things that really help me in my personal inner journey that I put in here. So the other question I get is how do you come up with the stuff that you put in your spreads? Like what are you writing? So for me, basically what I do when I come up with what you see written um, the, what I call my forecast for that full moon in a specific sign is I'm very aware of the moon energies and what each one carries. So I'm aware of the full moon and I'm aware of the new moon as well as other moons. And then I'm also aware of the energies that each sign brings. And so what happens is I mash those two things together to come up with what the forecast will be. Now, let me say, not an astrologer. And astrologers definitely take into account many more factors, like planets and things like that. And I'm not doing that. I, this is a simple practice for myself. I'm really just taking the lunar phase and the su sign and coming up with the forecast for myself and how those moon energies can affect my life. Now, if you're not familiar with those kinds of things, no worries. There's a ton of books on the subject, tons of them. And that's how I learned, was just from reading books um, for many years. So I will put links down below to some of those books if you want to learn more about the energies of the full, the moon cycles and the energies of the signs and how those can impact your life and why they're so important. I don't want to get into it here because that's like a whole separate video about 
that and honestly there's just not enough time so but that's how I come up with this little written part that you see here this forecast okay and then I'm gonna go into doing the tarot spread which I took a break right there and actually wet and did um, and the tarot spread that you see here is just one I made up um, sometimes I will get them from other websites but this one I happen to make up and again I just based it off what the energies were at that time um, for the questions that I had for myself um, and so that's what you'll see right there so the last thing you're gonna see me add here is just um, a little ritual that I set up for myself that I want to do um, and I'll often add that to newer full moon spreads as things that will help enhance that moon's energy and again this is just stuff you're gonna learn from learning about the different energies well that's it friends thank you so much for watching and if you're interested in some of the stuff that you saw in the video today like the stamps or stickers um, or the printable kits most of that is from my website and I'll put a link down below for you and I really appreciate you watching much love to each and every one of you and I'll see you again soon.